That last loop, that death, probably the worst, the most painful, the most traumatic death to the point where Subaru's soul apparently could have shattered. But then Echidna invites us in because we have qualified again due to our desperation for the knowledge of why. Why did this happen? Why? And we went in. And Echidna gives us a therapy session. She lets us know that she's been watching. Now we can let her know of the secret. And there's a beautiful moment at the end where she says, I am the witch of greed, right? Beautiful soundtrack's playing. Subaru's crying. Very emotional. You know what I was thinking about? Yo, this bitch just fucking using Subaru at his lowest moment to get more content out of them. Yes, she's definitely helping us. But at the end of the day, she is just greedy for that knowledge and to get more content out of it. So it's just like, hey, get your bag, right? What's happening right now? Um, well, we're in the witch's domain. We've looped. But if we get out of here, the miasma is going to be so strong and Garfield's going to be even more suspicious. There's so many challenges in this arc right now, right? First, Amelia just can't even clear the trials. That's something we can't not do anything about. There's the mansion stuff with Elsa and the Beast Tamer. And we thought that that was enough? Bro, no. Now, the White Rabbit shit's coming in. And I'm gonna guess that the White Rabbit is a Calamity tier monster, just like the White Whale, based on their purple halo crest that we saw on their head and the rabbit's ass. Seems like the whole village was empty, right? But it was snowing down. I'm assuming Amelia died. Maybe the rabbits ate everybody. Puck is out, just letting things snow. Everything is done. That's kind of what I assumed on the last run. Maybe Echidna can give us advice. Maybe the answer has been there all along, and we just had to ask Echidna, hey, what should we do? Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Who put us through this hardship? Technically, Roswell, right? I'm assuming it is him, but one could interpret maybe Satala because I don't know, she probably gave him the regression power, but okay. Satala. Yes. Like, is it really the witch factor of end? Like, I wish that Echidna would have made some other comment about the pre existing pact within us. Or a vow or whatever that was. Most likely was Satala, but if she made a comment of like, oh, you have like another witch factor in you, that would be crazy shit. And I'd be like, yep, it's gotta be envy. Then that means they're returned by death, this authority of envy. Exactly. But in the Shadow Garden, episode 15, when Subaru died because Puck says Nemune and head gets cut off, he goes to the Shadow Realm again, the Shadow Garden. Satala is there, and Subaru has an indescribable love for her, but he doesn't even know why. And she keeps saying, not just yet, I love you. Clearly they know each other, but memories has been erased due to like, pact vows, oath, something. What does she want, Subaru? Why? I don't know. Like, even she doesn't want to know that knowledge? The f like, the Witch of Greed, who is such a fiend for content, doesn't even want Satala content? That's how terrifying she is? I don't want to? Really? Not curious? Good question. Is there a limit? Do you know? I'm dizzy. <sighs> okay. Sometimes in the regressions, like summertime rendering, for example, there was... It wasn't like a... It's not that we couldn't keep using it, it's just like the mechanics of, you know, I forget exactly, but it became a finer amount because the amount of time where we checkpoint gets getting like pushed forward and forward to the point where it gets bad. But okay, there is no limit. So we can just keep using it over and over again. Now ask her, how was the checkpoint made? No opening. Delusion. That you won't die. Yeah, yeah, but that's like the... That's a general description of return by death. But I thought that this had to do with like Amelia. Of how she could be the vessel. And how Sata could possess that body. And come back meet Subaru and they could make love or some shit. I don't know, but like... Her delusion. This dialogue is very intense here. Vexing as it seems, uh, you know, returned by death is the witch's intense delusion. 
Why don't you just let me know that it's like the authority of Endy or something? Come on. But he doesn't die. Forever. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> We've died over and over and made many mistakes. But does Satala like, care about Rem? I don't think so. I think that at the end of the day, it's all about Satala. So like, Rem's... This shit happening, like... I don't think she cares. Mm. Exactly. He doesn't care? Trapped by the dead. Anyone who isn't you is not part of the world. Implying Amelia even isn't. My entire guess about how she gave the power to Loot Seller in order to protect Amelia until the day of the ordeal so that she could possess the body. None of that shit mattered? It's just Subaru. Subaru is the only thing that matters. Hmm. Then so be it. Satala don't care. And at this point, we gotta ask, how are the checkpoints made? Easy. <laughs> Yeah. Now, the term blessing here isn't an actual blessing slash divine protection, right? This is simply a synonym being used here. Okay. Until there's nothing to use? No one's better at me at betraying people's expectations. True. Yeah? Also, could this be interpreted as him always breaking promises too, which is a reoccurring theme? The betraying people's expectations also kind of plays into how he keeps looping, looping, and then like succeeds in one run when no one expected him to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now, I have you. Oh, you gonna say something. <laughs> I ain't got you, you know. I don't have to tape my broken heart together. I got you and you can be my therapist. Thank you. You and she wants more content out of us, bro. That's all you want to thank me for after sharing your secret with me? Thank you for stimulating my witch factor. Thank you for increasing your resistance. Thank you for giving me therapy. I don't know. What do you, what do you want? Look at that little, look at that little peak. Look, 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 see that little peak? Yeah, right there. Right there, she's like... Hmm. Mm. Yeah, more questions, please. Here we go. Thank you, the V with the Bram, man. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Like that and like potentially rural candidates too. I don't know. The amount of rural candidates he's met immediately in back alleys is crazy uncanny. Felt Amelia, Priscilla, not really Anastasia. But um, which is too. Satala loves him, right? Echidna, I think, has already been seduced. We haven't met any other witches just yet, but watch him just collect all them too. <laughs> How is the checkpoint made? How is the checkpoint made? They're tiny. The great rabbits. How many are there? Okay, so the purple ring thing that I noticed last episode was the connection. Now, that means that the black serpent must also have the purple halo, but three great mobbies. Whale, serpent, rabbit. Gluttony Witch, Daphne, created them to save the world from starvation. But is this a fucking sick joke? You want us to eat the rabbits? I guess that makes sense. Big whale, many rabbits, a lot of food. But like, we ain't eating them. They eating us. We, we have a bigger danger than starvation now. Uh, that's right, right? Arc 3, Frozen Bond. And now Arc 4. 400 again. <laughs> Damn, 
fish up the white whale. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many. It just keeps eating. The empty fields. Exactly. They were all eaten by the rabbits. Presumably, Amelia also died. And that's why Puck is out. Maybe it ate Puck? I don't know. But I thought the snow was basically Amelia died, Puck's man, and destroying the world. Wait. Is there an origin bunny? But it it's an out of control fucking swarm of bunnies? Any one of them can multiply infinitely. What the fuck do we do to beat it? We need to literally nuke it. We need to gather everything in one go and nuke it. But the problem is, if one gets away, they just start they just start fucking infinitely just reproducing, bro. Not reproducing, but copying itself at the same time. Reinhard nuke. <laughs> we, need, we need Reinhard nuke. But that's the hard thing. To have all the rabbits in just one place and then nuke it. But like... <sighs> that's impossible. Again, more challenges. How do we... How do we do this? In order to get to the mansion and beat Elsa, we need powerful allies. Garfield, I think, has shown potential now for sure be due to his transformation. But in order to satisfy Garfield, we need to clear the trial dash. But Amelia is taking forever. Everything hinges on Amelia right now. We can't... By the time we get to the mansion, Elsa's already there. Now, maybe there's a good idea of trying to get there before Elsa shows up and having everyone get to Biaku and then we can port over here like Echidna or any new suggested, but that's seemingly impossible. And the longer we take to clear here, bunnies will show up. There's fucking two separate time... I don't... Is the bunny... When, when is the bunnies gonna show up? It seems like it does, there's another time constraint shit, right? The longer we wait here, Elsa's gonna fuck us up. But also, we can't just stay here forever. The bunnies will fuck us up. It's just like both front and end. Like, what do we do? There's so many challenges. And there's Garfield's also a challenge. Okay, at this point, <laughs> the, the theory is either Roswell sent her the information or Elsa also has a gospel. <laughs> just, just assume that everyone has a fucking gospel at this point, bro. <laughs> Just, just everyone has a gospel and they're all following random orders. That's why none of their actions make any sense. Sure, why not? She must know a way. Can you help us? Yes. Bring them in right now. Absolutely. Let's ask this demon of a witch. Why the hell did you create them? But their souls? The souls. Castle of Dreams is the actual term of this Windows XP dream domain. They reside within her? How does a soul reside within another soul? Hmm. They trade places. Why? ここは死と無縁の世界だけど出せるほどの傷が入れば肉体に戻っても心はひび割れたままだえ、何おおシェッおおウェイ。ですかもスケリー。イフユーマイスステインズアンインジュリーザカーズデプレイ。ライト。
Uh, hello, hello, little lolly. Uh, what do you mean, huh? Are you Daphne? Huh? You're a witch? <laughs> Kidna. Dona. Barusu. Yeah, we're Barusu. No. No, I'm not a bad person. I'm a, I'm a very good person. I, I, I am good. This is a test? Don't, 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 don't. Eye contact, hand touching, don't. Touched. Sin can only be repaid with pain. I don't like that line. Okay, so like, if that worked, then we, we... Wait, this is not Daphne? Would a gluttonous person be like this? And looking at her face, and her actions, she doesn't have restraints, and we're making eye contact and touching. She judges those harshly. Wasn't there a literal witch of pride, Typhon, Typhon? which was said to be a child that like just judges people due to her arrogance or something. Sin can only be repaid with pain. She's literally judging a good or bad person. Is this literally not that girl? Where the fuck is gluttony? Am I crazy? <laughs> and like the witch of gluttony Daphne also has like hair like here. I remember that exact frame because I've seen it so many times. And we see, talking about the three, the, the Calamity Beast, the hair does not match either. This is not, this is not her. I was too busy cooking, I didn't realize our arm is off. What the fuck are you doing? What about my arm, bitch? Huh? It doesn't hurt though? It doesn't hurt? <laughs> what the fuck is this power? What the? Sin will become a witch that allows no escape. The first one was like trying to judge bad doers and they'll just die, I guess, if they're a bad. What is a bad person though? Right? Who decides who is a bad person? We're all at the mercy of this fucking prideful child? <laughs> Interesting. The first thing is a judgment to see if, there are, if they are a bad person according to her definitions. But the second one was, how do you perceive yourself? Do you perceive yourself as a bad person? Tifon, Tifon, okay, okay, so this, what the hell is she here? I thought, is a kid that trolling us? Tifon is a name of witch of pride, what are you doing? <laughs> Another one's coming. <laughs> what? My fist will restore the world. This has to be a uh, Witch of Wrath. I forgot her name. But the Witch of Wrath thing was like, she heals based on pain, was it? Something about her world is like doomed. And there was some sort of a healing element associated with that. My fist will restore the world. I'm assuming this is Wrath. <laughs> She heals us by attacking us. That's kind of counterintuitive. Her entire line's there. My rage, the fear in my fist shall be my answer. My anger will cleanse the world. Wrath. Is she Chuni? Is she, don't make to make it. Is she Chuni? It feels like she's playing some sort of like superhero roleplay LARPing. Like, my anger will cleanse the world. My rage, the fury of my fist, behold. I feel like she's playing superhero. 
hearts? You're crying? True? Is the literal world shaking right now? Or is this just like funny moments? What's your name again? Minerva. She just gave it to us. Her personality is very off. She's all over the place. I don't really get her. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not very menacing. It's very nice of you. She's super angry and mad, but she heals and... It's, it's like positive, so thank you? And she's gone. Okay, so... Uh, the Witch of Pride, Tifon, is very prideful and arrogant and judges what good or bad is based on their pride. Witch of Wrath, Minerva, is very angry, but the wrath and anger is somehow healing shit. Okay. Next one? Oh, is, is another one coming? Which one this time? Is this a robot? Oh, these are the restraints. The Witch of Gluttony is a BDSM lolly. <laughs> <laughs> what, the, what the fuck is happening right Don't let Reinhardt get near her. These are definitely restraints. That's a cute name. Yo, every one of them gives us pet names, huh? Remember the significance of pet nicknames? It's about people who are like close to you, right? So like, Baru, Tifon called us, Subarun, it's like a cute name. Seems like all these witches are very fond of Subaru. Huh? Donna Donna. She's very hungry, she's drooling. Toxic? It moves. The the Iron Maiden spider-like contraption moves. Okay. It's throbbing? Sugoku, <laughs> that's what Emilia always says. Interesting. Old, old people. They died 400 years ago, remember. But the scent, the witch's scent. So Daphne's attracted to the scents of the Witch of Envy? No, 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 no. Careful, careful. Don't touch her. Don't remove her restraints. That's right. The rabbit. Yeah. Now, lore-wise, Echidna says she created them in order to save the world from starvation. But now I realize that she was just a dumb child at that time that thought this would just somehow solve it. Like, more rabbits, big whale, more food? Is that your idea? That's a fucking sick joke because it's literally just even worse than starvation at this point. Like, what is the logic? To save us. Yeah. I get. Okay. Alright, let's just entertain the thought for a second. Okay. Big whale, a lot of food. Yep. Lugunica are gonna be eaten well. We subjugated it. Why the fuck does the whale have the ability to erase names and memories? Why? Did you give the whale extra mechanics to spread into two separate ones when it gets enraged? <laughs> if it just wants to be food, I get it. But you added extra fucking complexities on these fucking monsters. That makes it so hard. What is your idea here, lady? True, that's a lot of food, I guess. I, 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 I get that part, but what? You tell me that we need to have the resolve to kill? 
I thought you were just trying to save us from starvation. And now you're gatekeeping us from the food. Saying, shit, you want to eat this thing? You want to kill it? You better have the resolve to kill back yourself. Like, what? <laughs> Okay. That's true. You need, you need to eat food. Like, like, I know what she is saying, but it is so fucking perverted in the dishonest, disingenuous way of doing it. Like, I get it. I understand the logic. But goddamn, it's the madness of a child. We need to have a big source of mana to lure out all the rabbits to one location. At that point, if we can basically group all the rabbits in one position using mana as the bait, then we can nuke them. That's one way of handling things. I don't know what the source of the nuke would be. Roswell, Reinhardt, but Mana follows Mana. That's, that's fair, I guess. Mm. I know of a certain somebody that wears makeup who is the strongest magician. In the Dragon Kingdom of Lunica. Hold up. Hold up. Let's, let's use the fucking clown, bro. Wait. The rabbits are showing up because of him? He, the rabbits are showing up because Roswell's at the same... He was already baited without even me realizing that we could be... Is he doing this intentionally? If we assume that Roswell has sent Elsa to the mansion in order to create a time constraint to clear the sanctuary, can we then also assume Roswell's acting as bait for the Great Rabbit so that we don't also fuck around at the sanctuary? No, I could believe it. I could believe it. This clown is fucking crazy. I could believe it. <laughs> One consciousness, hive mind. They're very stupid, okay? He's getting tired. Thank you, yeah, he gave us a lot of advice. Bro. Man. Subjugated the white whale. If we end up defeating. Like, imagine. Like, he's literally performing miracles. Like the white whale incident, I still think about Arc 3 in the timeline of when it happened. Literally two months after Jesus Christ has appeared into the world. Literally like a week into the fucking royal selection starting. Natsuki Subaru completes the whale subjugation that the previous sword saint failed and then defeats the Archbishop of Sin. Like, and then if he ends up being the Great Rabbit, dude, like... Anytime you think that these challenges are too much, just remember, think about it. What happens if we overcome it? Think about the heroic credits that we're gonna get the accolades man it's crazy shit crazy mother so i guess like the idea is 400 years ago the great calamity happened with satala satala ravaged half the world and the world was basically starving and then daphne released the fucking <laughs> the snake the rabbit and the whale <laughs> okay the whale and the rabbit i understand Okay, uh, uh, the, the whale and the rabbit, I understand her logic of it being a lot of food. What about the serpent? What about the serpent, bro? The venom has a mind of its own. How does that help us eat? What, do you, what, what is the black serpent idea? She, she conveniently skipped it. What about the poison? We eat the poison? We, we, <laughs> I don't know. Uh oh, the restraints. I mean, we've already taken out the whale. <sighs> you think the steak is supposed to population control? Bitch, the entire beginning was to save people from starvation. Now you're just calling off people to have less food. I guess that makes sense, but... Man. Wow. That was, that was crazy.
that was Tifon, Witch of Pride, arrogant child that just judges what's good and bad by herself. Minerva, she is schizo. Chuni role playing hero bipolar. Gluttony, an insane child that created these beasts out of her own whims with insane mental gymnastics that kind of makes sense. We have Echidna, Visatala. There is two more witches left. Sloth, which is Sekhmet, the one that drove the great dragon beyond the great waterfall. And Lust. Who was Lust again? Oh, the one that allowed non-humans to make love. And that's where the Teresa von Austria taking back shots from Ricardo and creating Lai Baikantos, the... No. But, you know, the, the, <laughs> the, my, my tinfoil theory is slowly manifesting, yes. Family! Echidna's family. Yeah, what the hell? Tifu just hopped in. She's crazy. They're all children. Not Minerva. And she's nice. He's literally just going like this because of what Tifon did, bro. Daphne did give us good info. Is she? Yeah. So far, it's, it seems like it. Echidna hasn't really shown us her freaky side yet. Does she have a freaky side or is she just a normie? Riz. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's just... No, I mean, you're not gonna get me as I prepare new fucking snacks and tea and fucking ham for it right in front of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Do you think that the cookies also have like her body traces? Like, I don't know, the, like the tea for sure, but the cookies. There's probably some body traces in the cookies too. Let's eat it. <laughs> What? No! Uh-oh. Amelia. This useless bitch getting in the way of my day with a kid now. Come on, man. Come on, man. And the amount of L's that we were given by Amelia this season is unreal. Wait. Cause she keeps failing? And it's boring to watch her. <laughs> yeah, I just realized, like, she was snooping in Subaru. But, like, she doesn't care about Amelia? Why? Because she's, she's a waste of time and she'd rather talk with Subaru? <laughs> yeah, she's been getting bodied over and over. It's too obvious. Same, bro. Like, and that's the thing, like, what the hell do we do to help her? There's nothing we can do other than just be like an emotional support on the side. There's nothing we can do. We can hype her up, we can be there, but beyond that, there's nothing. That's an idea, but Garfield won't allow it. Cowardly princess. I feel like a kid that definitely has something against Amelia. Like the first time Subaru was invited in, so that's the reason. That's the root of your desires, right? Amelia and Echidna, how much do they know each other? Cowardly princess, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going in again? Uh, we need to be very desperate for some sort of knowledge. <laughs> Can I get your number? Yeah, we have a secret. We got a secret. Satala is going to be so mad. Satala is going to be so mad about this. Like, this is a secret that we're supposed to be keeping secret. Amelia died that one time because we leaked the secret. Is she... And Satala really just can't come show up here? Like the other witches are. But the other witches were apparently consumed by Satala. But for some reason, Echidna's soul has all the other, like, she contains the other souls of the witches. Satala, I don't think, is in her soul. But she can't arrive here? They grow stricter. How about a third time? 
3度目は2度目よりもさらに大きくだ Part of me feels like Akuna is capping here and just wants Subaru to be so like desperate for help and cry out Akuna's name louder. Yes, that's my head cannon. できると思うかい？通りに試練に臨むとすれば、その限りじゃないけどね。そうか。True。試練の中でなら会えるもんな。Trial two times。あっちじゃ茶わ。どうしてもというなら。いいやいいです。あ、おおお。No, he's going back. エキドナ、その前に頼む。How are checkpoints made?、No. The payment to make sure I don't forget what happened here. That's right. Erase the memory eraser shit. The payment. What's the payment? Yep. Let us remember. You whore. Not Petras. Handkerchief. Good luck charm. Well, no, 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 no. I think this is the good luck charm working out. You guys might think that this is bad. I think that this is proof that the good luck charm worked. No, no, think about it. Think about it. Everything she's done helped us. Petra sent us us. Well, you're supposed to return it with it being stained too. You know, that's like the whole culture. But I feel like, I think I feel like the fucking good good luck charm worked. Tada no hankachi da zo. Sore ni kore wa. Petra. Those hips are crazy. Chill, guys. Huh? It won't be gone once you're back outside. Oh, interesting. So we can give her everything, and it'll still be with us. Petra. Akina wants to. Akina wants to find out that Subaru might be a lolicon. No, we're not. You, you can know the truth. Petra has this weird fascination with us. I promise, I'm not into her. Uh oh. Hmm. I wanted a kid to make some kind of comments. It can't be. Who did you get the handkerchief from? What color were her eyes? And if if, if she did something like that, I'd be like, No ka furuaru. Petra's eyes being gouged. That theory is actually coming to fruition. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah. Why don't you tell me now? What the? All right. Bye bye. Next time, she got something for us. Yo, EMT, where you at? Fraud? I swear that so-called witch is just a big fraud. Are we calling Echidna a fraud right now? I guess Echidna gets a promise then. I swear that so-called witch is just a big fraud. Cause he doesn't like fear Echidna, right? The kidna seems pretty reasonable and nice and kind, and she's shown nothing but hospitality towards us. So he like doesn't really, is not intimidated by her. Hmm. Oh. EMT, where are you at? EMT. EMT left. Uh oh. Huh? EMT left. Is this not snow? This is darkness encroaching. Oh, she mad. Remember what, what was the example I gave you? Satala has like a GPS tracker. And when we went to Akinda's domain, Satala could no longer stalk Subaru where he was. We're not answering her calls. We got so many missed messages. And now she's showing up. <laughs> we are about to just... Witness the wrath of an envious witch. <laughs> Look at the shadows. What is this shit? How much does she know what we did in there? What a haunting soundtrack. What does she look like? We can actually see her. Yeah. What about the seal ship, bro? What the fuck is all of this shit? I thought that Satala sealed away, and but she still like exists within us and this like shadow garden. Is this shadow garden right now? Cause I I don't know. Is this? We are clearly outside in front of the ruins, but like, maybe the seal is fake. <laughs> yeah, maybe the seal is fucking fake, and we got baited. I don't know, bro. It's a it's a fucking conspiracy. The moon landing, right? 
Flat Earth. Hmm. Satala being sealed. Lie. The sage. The he the, the the dragon, the he the, the hero, they all fucking colluded. They all fucking lied, bro. Yo, whose voice actor is this? Is this Amelia's voice actor? I don't know, but like she just sing I love you, I love you, I love you. That last I did it was like ASMR just like piercing through me, bro. Wait, 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 wait. Notice all the different scenes that we saw when Satala showed up and said, I love you. We see Rem. We see Petra too, right? Look, look, look. Rem? Rem? Petra? Petra get no Amelia. So like, yo, is Satala gonna fucking kill Petra? Dude, look, so, is this Satala's memories or is this Subaru's memories? That's what I'm not sure about, right? Because like, my interpretation of this is like Satala recognizing the different girls that are in her way because she's envious and no other hoe can get him. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I, I'm not sure if this is from Satala or if this is from Subaru. <laughs> It looks like she's reading our memories, right? It really does look like she's like reading into us. That's what it seems like it's doing. As she, as she touched us, there's this weird visuals and Rem and Petra are shown, but Amelia was never shown. Amelia was never shown. Remember, remember, 2,000 shadows, right? Puck said about Betrigius, right? If you want to contest me, at least use half of what Satala could do. These are the shadows, right? What the hell is our view? Yeah, thanks, Garfield. What is happening? He's getting big. Why now of all times? It's because you fucking turned your phone off and went to a party with other girls, bro. And she mad. She's envious as fuck. And does she know that you told the kid now about the secret? Like, she mad mad. She's leaving. She's leaving. <laughs> She's just... She's just moving. She, 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 she just she got super tall and now she's moving out. What's she about to do? She going for Petra. She going for Rem. She going to the mansion. Oh my! Could we use Satala to somehow kill Elsa? I don't know, but she, she did peek into her memories. Petra and Rem were shown multiple times, but not Amelia. That's the very interesting thing, huh? Amelia, body's not here. Is that Amelia's body possessed by Satala at the moment? But the day of the ordeal, who needs to break the seal? How do you break the seal? I don't know how to break the seal. All, the, day, the first step of the day of the ordeal was to collect the body that could be a vessel. But I don't see Amelia's body here. Nor do I see Amelia in the fucking memories that, you know, Satala was looking into. I, and she looks very similar. The voice acting also doesn't fucking help. There's always, you know, there's, there's always, like, uh, comparisons of the, uh, the, the Witch of Envy and, and Amelia. But, like, could she be possessed here already? No. How's the seal broken? I, I don't even know that part. We've never talked about how to even break the seal. Petra is gonna get fucked up. So this is a new challenge on top of another great calamity? <laughs> we need to beat Satala now? Here we go, post credit scene. Roswell.
this motherfucker has when everybody has a gospel it's gotta be the same one right it's gotta be the other the two that is the perfect copies of the tomb of wisdom most likely right so he's been just also so this now solves the logical inconsistency of him not knowing subaru yet hiring elsa and expecting subaru to save right that shit doesn't make sense now it fucking makes sense if he was listening to the gospel this entire time <laughs> Chills, brother. <laughs> Fucking chills, brother. If you wish to walk through hell, I will gladly accompany you. My partner in crime. My windfall that I've been waiting this entire time. My accomplice. My Natsuki Subaru. <laughs> yeah. These lines are so fucking hard. If you wish to live in hell, then hell is what I shall strive for. Dude, these Rosa lines are going- He's not saying clown shit either, it's just like- It's like the regular normal pronunciation. Natsuki <laughs> Cinema. Peak cinema. This is this is actually fucking peak cinema. Like like unironically, like it the secret's out. The cat's out of the bag. The cat is out of the fucking bag. Roswell has a gospel. He knows about the regression. We get so many witches today. Tifon, right? Minerva. And a kid that we already know. And we got Gluttony Daphne. She gives us the lore about the three calamity beasts. In her logic. It makes sense, but it's just like, you crazy bitch, I can't believe you did that, but hey, it's just survival of the fittest, I guess. All the witches are so interesting, I want to see more of the witches, but hey, maybe we can like show up to a kidney's trial again, or a witch party, tea party, or the trial, and see her again. At the end here, I'm not sure if Satala has possessed Amelia's body or not. Kinda looks like Amelia a lot. I mean, there's obviously a lot of the similarities in, you know, their fucking... <laughs> their aesthetics, they're, they're literally the same. But if Satala is manifested here, that can only mean that the seal has somehow broke. Or the seal never was fucking sealed, and it's all a conspiracy? And Amelia got possessed? And this is a Satala that we're fucking dealing with right now? And the shadows that we're seeing is how the world was ravaged? Half of it? I don't fucking know. But hey, Roswell is our greatest greatest fan roswell literally says man if if it's hell if you wish to walk through hell i'll walk it with you if it's hell that you want to strive for then i will fuck if you want to live in hell i strive for that and then make sure you make no mistakes next next time natsuki subaru is like oh <sighs> i have such a bias with this character because like i've been listening to I've been listening to like his dialogues in season one and trying to figure out like why is he so contradictory? Why does he always just go away and do things that actively hurt our entire faction? All the answers are fucking here, man. Oh my god, it just keeps fucking getting better. It just keeps fucking getting better. And that's it for me. If you're still here, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for even more content. And also next time, take care. <laughs>